to me, you said, look, he looked worried. Once he got hit with that shot. This is Jonathan Agar, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by Savage Dan from Boxers. Dan, uh, we're here again for the rematch, Smith against Eubank 2. Tell me why this is going to be a better fight than last time. I think we get a better Chris Eubank. I think that makes it a more interesting... Uh, look, the last fight was great. It was an explosive finish. I don't think anyone expected it to be quite like that. I think this time we get a great fight and I think we get something closer to what we expected the first time round, which is you know, a hard fought war rather than, you know, it was it was quite tentative-ish and then it just ended in a flash. Um, I think we get, I'm not sure if we get all 12 rounds, um, but I think we get a back and forth this time. You know, a lot of people have been saying like the weight of Eubank because he had to make weight for the Conor Ben fight, which never happened. Don't want to make excuses, but do you think that might have affected him at all? I think weight always affects something, you know, especially when you're, you're it's not easy to make weight, but I tell you what, it's a lot harder two years later to make the same weight than it was when, you know, when you're, when you're 30 trying to make weight, it's definitely harder than when you're 32 and 33. Your body doesn't want you to stay at that weight. Naturally, as we get older, you know, you, your body tries to put a bit more flesh on you, etc., etc. So. The weight could be an issue. Um, I know he said that he'd never really had a nutritionist or anything like that until this camp. Seems happy and healthy enough. You never. The problem is you never really know. You know, it's the it's the one percent uh, when when you're dehydrating to make weight. You, you're going to lose something valuable. You know, whether you can get it back in in time is, is the, will obviously depend on the, on the individual. I'm not, he hasn't really used an excuse as such uh, when it comes to the first, I don't, you know, 160 is his weight when I mean, it's all said and done. It's not Liam Smith's weight. Um, so I think weight will always play a, a factor in it. I just wonder how much of a factor, you know, you can never really tell, you know. Either way, if you get hit with a big right hand, a left uppercut, a left hook, da da da, because, you know, the chances are you're going to go anyway, especially if they're all landing flush. Um, whether you're dehydrated or not, and whether you're rehydrated well or whatever it is, you're, you're not going to take those shots very, very well. You know, it's just he just got caught. What's your pick from the undercut? Um, because of the animosity, and I guess the clash of stars, I'm going to go for Florian Marku and Dylan Moran. I think. It's heating up quite nicely. It was heating up from you know a couple of weeks ago when we uh, at the Buatzi presser. Um, they you know they had a, back, a bit of a back and forth when we did our head to heads. Um, and Dylan's not having it off of Florian, you know. And, and Dylan's come with a lot of support. I didn't expect him to have more support than Florian. Um, so I think that would be a good fight, a clash of styles. Can Florian close the gap quickly enough? Can Dylan keep him on the outside, etc., etc.? But that, or definitely the Mark Heffron and Jack Cullen fight. Yeah, it should be interesting. Dan, uh, I want to ask you about what we saw in Poland last week. Uh, what did you make of... Uh, let's get straight into the low blow yeah. uh, controversy. Was it low or not? No, I don't think it's low. Um, like everyone, everyone who's been in the ring sees that and no one really thinks that's low. There's a big interpretation of where the shots were. I'm seeing screenshots all over the place of where the punch was. I just prefer to watch the video. I saw it first time, didn't think it was low. I've seen it a thousand times since in different angles of the video. I'm not really caring about the pictures. They can manipulate where that looks like it is. Impact for me seems like it's on the belly button. The belt, we've, we've seen all kinds of, we've seen belts up here, we've seen belts down there, whatever it is. But for me, that's, that's, that's not low at all. You know, you can call it borderline, whatever you want. I've seen people stopped on those shots. No one's ever called that low, you know. I, I, more often than not in a fight, you see that often, you know. It's a, the belt can confuse people into thinking it's low. I don't think that was low. What do you think? I mean, for me, it was, I thought it was just below sort of the belt line, but like, you, there's so many different angles. One minute you think it's like on the borderline. I, mean, I just think when it's that, you, you give the, uh, you give the, in football, you give the, the advantage to the attacker. I think that is, I think if he was to strip it all down, you probably see that his belly button is where the fist is kind of thing. It's on the belly button. I don't class that as low. You know, when I, I just don't think that's low. You know, really some people are saying that Usyk sort of took advantage of it and milked it. Of course he did. Uh, he, to me, Usyk looked, he looked worried. Once he got hit with that shot, 
like we, we see people get hit with shots that are low, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They take a while. They they kind of hobble around the ring, but he sat down, didn't move. Arm looked like it was shaking a little bit. He was physic. He, he was physically shaken by that shot. Um, yeah, he took advantage of it. I, don't get twisted. I rate Usyk for what he did. He got up and then stopped Dubois. Now that I have no complaints about. But is the shot low? I don't think so. Does Usyk get up if the ref counts? I don't think so. What's uh, what's Tyson Fury going to be thinking watching that? I think everyone, you know, you hear the whispers in sparring with different fighters, etc. You know that's how you, you get to Usyk. There's no point headhunting with him, really, um, because he is so good at evading those shots. You've got to work the body with him. That's, that's no secret. It's just whether you can actually do it. The bar was never going to, you know, bank lots of rounds against Usyk. He was banking on him, getting him with a big shot, and I just think he got him with a big shot. Um, if you're Fury... I think there was only one way, really, for Dubois to win the fight against Usyk. I think if you're Fury, there's several ways. You know, you could box him on the outside, you could beat him up, you could go to the body. You can... I think Fury has the tools to beat him how he wants to beat him. Uh, just lastly, uh, Tony Bellew was asked about and he, he says that uh, Daniel Dubois quit and he sort of was saying like, you know, spew it once, spew it again kind of thing. I mean, what's your, what's your view? Uh, I mean, look, I've never, I haven't been in the ring with Usyk. I know it can't be nice. I have actually, when I was younger, been in the ring with Dubois and I wasn't nice either, but I was in... It, it's Why were you, what was that about? When it was at Del Youth. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think he quit, but I think, you know when you get, the, you don't really want to get up. I'm getting up, but I don't really want to get up. Ref kind of like, help me out here. That's what it looked like to me, you know. He didn't want to continue, you know. If he wanted to, he could have got up, I think. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't like the word quit because he's in there taking punishment of, you know, one of the premier heavyweights in the world. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the problem is that once you get that kind of people onto you um, about quitting, that sticks, uh, you know, and every time it happens, you're going to have the same kind of people out for you. So I don't think he quit. I think he's young. He'll come again. Um, maybe he just mentally, you know, he, he just felt like he just had enough. Savage Dan, thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for Smith Eubank 2. Cheers.